just another All day I'm saying Oh, the grain of sand! It's used to gain gain muscles, supposedly. Testing been a bit lax from you, Kev. I reckon he's got it in his system. He had it in his system. Conspiracy theorist in me, yeah, it's coming out again. Yeah, legacy oh. means so much, so. We got caught out lying on there, didn't he, I think, so. Uh, for this fight, my body was just a bit droopy, you know? <laughs> they wanted to tempt Connor Ben into engaging. To another episode of Bloodlust Boxing, I'm Sav. And I'm Baz. Today's episode, we talk about that madness which is going on with the British boxing border control. It's just another All day I'm another saying, control. all I'm saying is, sub, have you washed your hands today? Because you <laughs> might have some posturing on your hands. Posturing? Be careful. Yeah, you might, you know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you to fail that drug test today. I did, uh, you know what, I was I was walking, you know, I met with a mate, I shook his hand, and maybe it happened, I don't know. Well, maybe, yeah, mate. You just like, ate a sandwich. I mean, it could happen, man. And right. so, so, some, sometimes I share a drink with a lady, you know, like, and we just share the same bottle, and maybe, like, that's the like same thing. You can't, you can't be doing that sometimes. It just, what it I'm just saying doesn't is, happen. <laughs> if it is, it's just a, a grain of sand. Oh, the grain of sand. In the swimming pool. In like pool. a, old in the swimming pool. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh man, the excuses like it's. Uh, so anyway, what are we talking about, Sam? What are we talking about? <laughs> well, if you haven't figured it out, we're talking about it's come out that Amit Khan failed a drugs test. Still not hundred percent clear. We're saying just after he fought. I think they're, I think they're saying it was just after. It's a fight night. It's just after. It's a fight night. Yeah, yeah. So he probably fight did a drug night. test after the fight, and he's yeah. failed a te- drug test and well, tested positive for drug called Was it Aust- Austrian? Austrian, yeah. Austrian, Austrian. Yeah, and it was like literally a minuscule amount. But I mean, having looked into the drug itself, it's it. I think it can be found in some supplements or energy drinks. From what I've seen, it's not like it's not like one of those things where you take it and drink it. In. It's yeah. something that you could potentially buy over the counter. So I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit it's, murky, it, but... it's used. It's used to gain gain muscles, supposedly. Yeah. Um, but... from, from what? From what we've read and seen, basically, you need to be taking it for a long period of time for it to have any sort of benefit. Yeah. And, and Amu Khan has been tested non-stop throughout that fight. Although, saying that, he did he did say, actually, and, and that's probably one of the things in his defence when he was on the run-up to fight Kel Brook, that the testing had been a bit lax from UCAD. So, I don't know if you saw that um, video. I don't, yeah, but I don't... I don't know he, if I he believe was that, like, because every, he, everyone he did, said... Yeah, he let's get, let's get the official stuff out of the way. Let's get the official stuff. Right. Oh, oh, British oh, Boxing Board of Control, or UCAD, who's got, you know, who British Boxing Board and Call, uh, British Boxing Board of Control work with, said they believe he didn't intentionally take the drug, although it was in his system, and as he said, mm. it was a t- minuscule amount, and they couldn't have had any performance in hearts and abilities. And either way... Under the strict liability laws or rules, he's got a two-year ban backdated to, to when he found it. Yeah. But I, ki- I killed you off there. What were you going to say? You were going to say something? No. Was... You lost it now. <laughs> no, I was just going to give you a, a, give you my opinion on it. Like whether no, I know you can keep it or not. So, okay, but, so do you think he's good or not? Well, what, what do you think? I reckon he's got it in his system. He had it in his system. But I don't think he intentionally took it. <laughs> like, everyone's saying, oh, he had a two... Two year ban, but he's retired anyway, so it doesn't mean nothing. Legacy means so much, so. Mm. Like, yeah, but he was fighting his arch nemesis, Kel Brook. Do you think? Do you think uh, maybe what, what happens if maybe he had a really bad camp, didn't go well, and he just thought, you know what, this is probably my last fight anyway. It's so, done him no good, so. It's done him no good anyway. What does it matter? <laughs> I love his excuses like. That. That, that was the worst I looked in that fight. Did you see how I thought? I was terrible. <laughs> in, in the interview with TalkSport, it was like saying, so you know when I was 26 years old, yeah? And I'm like, my rib body. <laughs> and it's like, my rib body, like, muscles and muscles. Like, for this fight, my body was just a bit droopy, you know? <laughs> I think... <laughs> so I'm thinking, what are you saying? Are you saying you would open when you're 26 years old but he gives it really back and goes yeah I haven't got the body of a 26 year old anymore like 
So like he, he pulled it out, but I thought it was like, hang on a minute, you're just making yourself look worse. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't believe he took it, and then after that, you're like saying like, we use twenty six. He he had he had he had it done against him, didn't he? The Lord Peterson, and that was that mm. was bad because they they found he popped for drugs after their fight, and I think um, it was like stone stone wall concrete. There was no way you could shake that off. That was no so he didn't. You think part of him wouldn't want to do that to someone else? Yeah, yeah. He he had a couple of bad losses towards the end of his career, where like you don't know what goes through people's minds, do you? You don't know whether he's. Yeah, but but I don't. Got... I don't. I don't think so. I, I, I can't. I can't see it. I mean, what the fact that the drug itself supposedly does nothing unless you've been taking it for like weeks and yeah. weeks. Or fight, and even then, all right, it'll be able to build a bit of muscle, but not. No, it's not. It's not like a wonder drug. It's mm. so. I I don't see how he would have dodged all the other tests and leading up to the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just to so, take it on the fight night, it just seems it just seems sense. odd. Just seems odd. I oh, reckon okay. he's been yeah. fighting since seventeen years old, and he's never popped once. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I think... the amount of times he's, he's fought in America as well, like Vada testing, and Vada's never pulled up nothing. So yeah, but would he have would he have been having Vada testing? Because that's that's like I... he's, he's had he quite would, a lot of he, top he end fights. They would have been Vada testing, surely, if he insisted on it, or the contract, or if it was in the contract. I know on the WBC, it's it's one of the most heavily, isn't it? So but it would have been. Tested potentially from the uh, US officials over there. Why? Wow, what do you think? Do you think he's, he's guilty then? I think he probably he probably drank something or, or whatever, ate something. Or didn't something. wash his hands and shake someone's hand. He, he probably <laughs> had something. It was. I don't believe it was intentional. I don't believe it was intentional. Yeah. But he doesn't do himself any favours when he talks. He just makes himself a, a skilled no, sinner, no. especially no. like. He's a proven. He's proved. He's been proved to bend the the truth a bit, like especially when he was in the jungle and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you know he, he got caught out lying on there, didn't he? I think so. What about <laughs> something? I don't know. And yeah, get get me out of here, wasn't it? But but yeah, I, I don't think he intentionally took something. But I think the biggest drama here again is the chaotic scenes and the way British boxing is run from from the British boxing world. Because it's, it's terrible. It's we're terrible. talking, looking at the it's time been scale. like a year. No, longer than that. It's almost, it's like 14, 15 months before this decision's come out, and it's been. Whether he's appealed that or not, like, how can it take so long? Disgraceful. And the whole point of testing is really to catch someone. Like, I guess it, it, again, if the if it, the test was taken just before the fight, you would hope they'd pick it up before the fight happens. If it was taken on the night, then obviously you're not you're not going to get the results that that at that time. So it's more of a preventative thing for the future. But yeah, it just it's just shambolic, and it, it kind of plays into you know it help sort of builds Conor Ben's case a little bit because it's like the shambles that is the British Boxing Board of Control. Yeah. I reckon, all right, conspiracy theorist in me there is coming out again. Yeah, go on. I reckon the British Boxing Board of Control and UK tried to keep it quiet because they didn't want to. They wanted to tempt Conor Ben into engaging, taking yeah? a two-year two-year ban. Well, no, I just think they wanted Conor Ben to engage with them, and then then they would have had him. And I think they've de- potentially delayed leaking out the news to to get Conor Ben to engage. Now Conor Ben ain't, ain't going to talk to the British Bull with Control now. Who's he? Why is he going to talk to him for? He, he's, he's seen now. He could carry on fighting now. And then, otherwise, what? So, Amir Khan's got a little trace amount in one test. On one fight, right? From a drug that supposedly wouldn't have done, like, helped him out in a fight whatsoever. And they said he's still got a two year ban. Yeah. What's, what's going to happen to Conor Ben if he comes? He's like, <laughs> it, nowhere going to get involved now, is he? He's going to avoid the British box and border control as long as he can. 
And it's yeah, just, man. it's just, as I said, it's just a shambles. Like, I think Eddie Hearn keeps saying it, but you see interviews from Robert Smith all the time. For me, yeah. a, an official body should sit in the background and you shouldn't see them. You shouldn't see them. Like, the most you see, if something goes wrong, you see a statement, there's a, yeah. there's a decision. It should be like that. You shouldn't, like be seeing, you shouldn't be seeing interviews of representatives speaking about this case and that case because it just doesn't look... Nah. It's unprofessional. It's unprofessional. I think the problem is now you've got so many different um, promotions. Like, yeah? And boxing is so big now that like, it's grown massively. Like, there's a fight every week. And the British Boxing Board of Control is just not fit for purpose. It needs to be looked at again. Like, it needs to almost just start from scratch. Yeah. Because it just doesn't, it just doesn't, it's, it's not fit for purpose at the moment. On that bombshell. On that bombshell. <laughs> let's see what happens next week. Is anyone else yeah. going to pop? Is someone else going to pop next week? Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. Are there any final thoughts? Just, uh, just hit that button, you know. Like it's, it's, it's one choice. Like it makes all the difference.